Uh, we're continuing the conversation this time around the happenings in the APC with uh, Kenneth Okwonkwo, who is an actor, lawyer, and politician, uh, a former member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, and uh, he's joining me now to give reasons why he is not in support of the Muslim Muslim ticket of the APC, and of course, why he had to leave the party. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Just very quickly, I mean, you must have heard what the former Secretary of the Government of the Federation said. Yeah. It's difficult to market the APC to certain parts of the country. Is that one of the reasons you looked at before exiting the party? Oh, well, uh, thank you, viewers, for joining us. Now, first of all, I believe as a lawyer that what APC did is unconstitutional. By the express provisions of the Constitution, Section 15, Subsection 1, that defined the political objectives of Nigeria, talked about our motto, unity, faith, peace, and progress. Subsection 2 said, accordingly, national integration shall be acted encouraged whilst discrimination on the basis of place of origin religion ethnic linguistic etc shall be prohibited use the word prohibited then if you descend to 3d subsection he said the state shall have a duty in pursuance to the pursuit of national integration shall encourage the forming of associations that cut across ethnic, linguistic, and religious barriers. The concept of the presidency implies an association between the president and the vice. Section 142 made it clear that the president, before he is duly nominated, shall find an associate who shall be his vice president. So the concept of the presidency is an association. And the state has a duty to ensure that when you are forming that association, it must cut across religious barriers. Look at subsection 4 of that beautiful section. It said that the state shall promote a feeling of belonging and involvement amongst the various peoples of Nigeria to the end that loyalty to the nation shall override sectional loyalties yeah i mean we had a senator who was here and he, he pointed out all of that very good so uh, how okay. does muslim muslim ticket at the presidency encourage integration involvement and participation of the christians in nigeria in the politics of nigeria and you know what section 17 made it clear he said the state social order shall be founded on the ideals of freedom equality and justice equality amongst the religions and even in the population the religion is almost 100 million versus 100 million so how do you say it and let me descend to the constitution of apc being a former presidential being a former member of the presidential campaign council the apc summarized it and even made it more strong that's in its constitution constitution of apc he said it shall the apc should build a nation that will guarantee political stability, respect and understanding, mutual and peaceful coexistence, and equal opportunities to all. So we're heading towards political instability, even if the APC wins. That's what you're saying. <laughs> it is very, very plain. When uh -huh. you have the president and the vice of a religion, no matter what you do, you are already flawed. You cannot, it's unappeasable. Now, can't we balance that with maybe the president of the Senate yes. and uh, a speaker of the House of Representatives coming from the Christian faith or maybe even traditionalists? Uh, what if the candidate is already thinking towards that to create a balance? Elementary government. Elementary government will teach you that there are three different arms of government executive, legislature, and judiciary. These arms are equal and opposite and they are separate. So why would you talk about balancing the legislature with the executive? No. They are not an association. You balance the executive with the executive. You balance the legislature with the legislature. You balance the judiciary with the judiciary. That is the concept of the federal character and zoning arrangement. Even in the judiciary where it is by appointment, they still take note of our federal character. And the conduct of affairs of every government must reflect that federal character. So no, no. The, you the, cannot... There was, a, there was a call, actually, for a southern presidency. Yes. And we've got someone from the south in a very big party. In fact, the governing party. 
Why would someone like you want to leave that governing party when there's a southern candidate just because of the issues of religion? Because, I mean, some others are saying that these are issues that can be settled if eventually the South gets uh, the presidency. As a young man of 24, it pleased the almighty God to bless me with fame and fortune. I happen to be the first actor that acted the first movie that started in Hollywood. You do not contemplate that I will enter politics for my self-aggrandizement. No. Nigeria is my pursuit in politics, and I will keep searching for it until I find it. So whatever you want to give me as a person is secondary. Give me Nigeria. Give me stability. Give me employment to the youths. Give me sense of belonging. Give me participation of everybody, and you would have made my day. I was in APC. All this war, I did everything. I erected the secretariat of APC in my ward, in my local government. I, mean, I, I, I saw you defending Buhari even when it was Good. Uh, very difficult for a lot of his uh, persons to Beautiful. defend him in the southeast. APC has done nothing for me personally. Have you ever seen me complain? And I'm not going to complain. So what party are you moving to? I am not contemplating any party yet. But I must have to tell you, a friend of mine, a northern brother of mine from Kanu State, when he learned I was coming to this program, he told me that I must be obicentric so going forward. You should join the obedient movement. Good. <laughs> this is a northern Muslim talking. Mm. Anybody that is telling you that northern Muslims will not support Christians is telling you false statement. So, and that uh, is the problem with bringing octogenarians to manage your party and manage the affairs of government. So, Senator so have Adamu. You, have you joined the obedience team? I am obicentric. <laughs> but I have not joined any party <laughs> because okay. that is the ticket that has actually provided for me that stability, that youthful energy that we need to change the system of Nigeria but, but at it, this those time. Those in APC and PDP says it's just an internet sensation. I mean, social media buzz. And of course, that, for example, on Saturday, yeah. when the Oshun State Governorship election will be held, that you will see where the Labour Party will, will be. And it won't be among the top three or something like that. When they say such things, what do you say to them? Do you remember the time that APC was campaigning in 2015? They were the originators of internet sensation. And so why are they crying if it is not making any impact? When I read Business Administration, they taught me that the strategy of marketing starts with drawing attention. We call it the IADA principle. Attention, interest, desire before action. So stimulating attention of the people is the first thing you have to do when you want to market a product. And OB is doing that well? They are doing it effectively well. And that is why those people are rattled. <laughs> okay, as we try to round off this conversation, uh, we've seen a lot of... Um, uh, uh, actors like you pitching their tent with this same uh, vi uh, presidential candidate that you're running away from. I mean, no. <laughs> so if you're going away, some of your colleagues are going to Tinubu and all of that. What do you make of such uh, moves? They are making the moves as actors, simplicity, that are entitled to the appearance fee. So they're acting movies. Uh, <laughs> you can say that again. I <laughs> so am there's an element of deception there. I wouldn't say that with you. <laughs> but they have the right to go in as actors and ask for the appearance fee. I am going in as a politician that understands the rudiments and implications of the decisions I'm making today for my future and the future of my children. Now, if had got a bishop or a pastor like uh, Buari did and all of that, do you think that the South East would have voted for him? Other parts of the country would have voted because, I mean, we saw uh, Buhari and Oshibanjo, and yet the South East, a lot of uh, politicians, they were trying to run away from that a lot of persons were still tied to PDP and all of that. Do you think by doing that, that can resolve any issues for Tinubu? Now, PDP has been the greatest fraud on Southeast. And that was one of the reasons why I left the party. I told my people PDP was going to ruin them politically and PDP has done just that. They have been sheepishly following PDP from 1999, giving them 95% of their votes, whether it is a Fulani Muslim or a Christian from South South, or it was PDP, PDP all through. Now, PDP, after 24 years, did not even consider them qualified, not for the presidency, not for the vice presidency. And in the ticket of the presidency, for a party they sacrificed all, they got nothing. So PDP, are not evil enough for you. 
Ifan Yokowa is not from Southeast. When you talk about geopolitical zoning, you are talking about geographical expressions. You're not he talking says about. He's a full Igbo. It's that. just that he finds himself in a Delta State. Good. What happens to be in the South South? Good. Very quickly before we end. Then it will be very, you know, uh, you know, it won't be, you know, it would accord to justice for him to take things that will come from South South in the name of Igbo, and then come back to take things that will come to Southeast in the name of Igbo. There are Yorubas in North Central, in Kwara State. Would you want them to take the position that is meant for Southwest? So Okawa is Igbo. I have no doubt about that. I love him and respect him for that. When it comes to geopolitical balancing, he is South-South. Oh, and he oh, has to allow okay. what, you just what has to do with South that, East. that if Tinobu had made yes. a pope or a bishop or pastor, yes. his advice, would the South East have voted for him quickly? Now, just when you want a region or a...